he can start it in reference to that. But we are want to uh, bless others that needs the help. Amen. And just remember that Pastor Jay will be, if I'm not mistaken, in Colorado. Uh, I might have it wrong. I know next month. So, but I will get the dates if for the ones that want to travel with her. Uh, Good afternoon, everyone. I pray that you have enjoyed the word today. My father is not perfect. My heavenly father is, but my natural father is not perfect. And I pray that the word have blessed you today. And if you were having some, you know, difficulties understanding your natural father, you know what, go ahead and give God praise. Number one, he calls you to be in this world. If that's all you can glorify him for, then you thank God for that because God said everything he made was good and therefore you're good. Understand this, that somebody came in your life and stood in for your father. You may not have called them father, but they implemented and did all the things uh, that a father would do. Amen. They showed you how to love and serve God. They showed you how to be the man or woman that you need to be in and pot and given th things uh, throughout your life to show you how to be the best that you can be. So you know what? Go ahead and tell God thank you for that. I want you to know that we love you. We're here for you and we're praying for you. If you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. God bless you. We love you. Father, in the name of Jesus, help those today, oh God, who may be even missing their fathers that have gone on uh, to be with the Lord, oh God. Let them know that you have them, God, that you have never left them nor forsake them. God, be with those whose fathers are here. Touch those fathers and let them know that their children need them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Invite you out from the church that's on fire, that's entered in 
denomination of faith, church of the living God, where God is first and people always. If you want a right now word, a word that will deliver you, a word that will save you, a word that will keep you, a word that will help you, come on out to the place, 1279 Beacon Road. It is a delight to be in the house. So come on and worship with us. Come on out and visit with the Lord. Hear what God has to say to you. He has a lot to say. God bless you. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, you give me joy. Down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, down deep in my soul, there's beauty. There's beauty in my brokenness. I've got true love. Instead of pain, Instead of pain. there's freedom though you capture. There's freedom though you capture me. I've got joy. I've got joy instead of mourning. You give me, you give me joy down deep, down deep in my soul. Down deep, down deep in my soul. Down deep, down deep in my soul. You give me, you give me joy. There's beauty in my brokenness. I've got true love. I've got true love. Instead of pain. Instead of pain. There's freedom though you capture. There's freedom though you capture me. I've got joy. I've got joy instead of mourning. You give me. You give me joy. Down deep. Down deep in my soul. Down deep. Down deep in my soul. Down deep. Down deep in my soul. You give me. Never been so free, call it your love for me. Your love for me. And never been more secure, knowing your heart. I never been, I never been so free, call it your love for me. I never been more secure, yeah, you give me, you give me joy. Down deep, down deep in my soul. Down deep, down deep in my soul. Down deep, down deep in my soul. You give me. joy down deep in my soul in spite of what I'm going through in spite of what it looks like in spite of what I'm up against I can tell myself that I have joy and he's giving me joy down in my soul so if you have that on today open your mouth and say you give me joy you give me joy down deep Now come on, give God a praise.
in this place. If God's been good to you, open your mouth and decree and declare that God's been good to me. And I got joy deep down in my soul. How many know that he's able on today? I want you to know that God is able to do everything but fail. If you need something from God, just open your mouth and begin to tell him, say, God, I know that you're able. In spite of what it looks like, in spite of what it sounds like, I know that you're able to keep me from falling and present me faultless. Amen. Hallelujah. He's able. Yes, he is. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all, all you can ask or think according to the power that works in you, you, because God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. He's able. Oh, I don't think you believe that on today, but I know what you know that he's able. We still have able God. Oh, oh, oh. He's able. Yes, he is. Oh, and help me say God. God is able to do just what, just what he said. What he said. He would do. He's going to fulfill. He's going to fulfill. Every promise. So don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't. Cause he won't give up. But you say he's able. He's able. Oh, clap those hands. You believe that on today? Whoa. He's able. He's able. Yes, he is. We're gonna say that for you one more time. If you believe that, come on and help me say it. Somebody say God. God is able to do just what, just, just what he said he would do. He's going to fulfill He's gonna fulfill every promise, every, every promise. promise to you. Don't give up on God. Don't give, Don't up, give up, on up on God. Because he won't give up on you. Somebody say, he's able. Whoa. Don't give up on God. 
Don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. He won't oh, don't give you give up, up on my on Savior? You. Don't give up on God. Don't, give don't you up give up? God. Yes. Cause he won't give up on you. Oh, don't you give up? I don't care what it looks like. Don't you give up? Don't you give up? I'm not going to give up. I know my back's against the wall. I got some things going on, but I just won't give up. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. Don't you give up. Sometimes you thought you was going to lose your mind. You didn't know what you was going to do. All hell was against you. But don't you give up. I'm going to say, don't you give up. 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 Sometimes you feel lonely. You feel like you ain't got a friend. Nobody you can talk to. Don't you give up. 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 Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. He's able. Now come on, open your mouth and decree and declare that God is able to do it in this place. I dare you to open your mouth and say he's able. Come on, clap those hands. Uh, wherever you're at, sit in land, um, standing, come on, open your mouth and, and say God is able. He's able, he's able to do it. Um, I dare you to say he's able on today. Hallelujah. How many you love him on today? Say, I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, God. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. I love you forever. your feet as if you want to and lift your hands and tell them say God I love you I want you to know that I really love you 
love you, God. In spite of what I'm going through, I love you. Oh, God, so many things going on in my life today, but I yet love you. I don't always get it right, God, but I love you. God, I mess up many times, but I love you. Oh, God, sometimes I don't feel like I got anybody I can talk to. In the way we are, was at night, but I know that you love me. Oh, I, I want you to lift those hands and begin to tell God that you love him. It's a personal thing. And we'll see, when somebody's been good to you, you want to express <laughs> your appreciation of what they've done. And you know what? You woke up this morning clothed in your right mind with the use and activities of every limb. And for that today, you ought to say that I love you. Oh, because I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. Come on and say that I love you. I, I, love, I love you, you forever. forever, Jesus. I love, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, I love you Jesus. Forever. Yes, I do. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love in the morning time, forever. in the noon time, in the night time, in the daytime. I love, I love you, you, Jesus. Forever. I love you, Jesus. Jesus, I love you, Jesus. Come on, open your mouth and say, I love you, I love you, I love you forever. Yes, I do. I love you forever. I love you forever. We give glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. Now you say, Give God a prayer. 
praise in this place. I dare to open your mouth to give God a praise. Come on and tell him that you love him. Come on and tell him what it means to you. Come on and tell him how much you appreciate him. Come on and clap those hands. Clap those hands all over this room. Open your mouth and tell God that you love him. You love him in the morning time. You love him in the noon time. You love him in the night time. Come on and tell him that you love him. I love you, Jesus. That's it. Tell him that you love him. I love you, my son. Tell him about him. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Oh, God, I need you right now, God. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Come on and tell him that you love him. I dare to open your mouth. Tell him how much you love him. How much he means to you. How much you appreciate him. Oh, my God, we love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. We love you, Jesus. 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 Forever, forever, Lord, forever, ever, ever, ever. Because we love you forever. We love you forever. We love you forever. Oh, come on and tell him that we love you. We love you. We love you forever. We love you forever. We love you forever. to give the Lord a praise offering. Come on and shout hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to God. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Amen. Good morning to those that are listening by Facebook, YouTube, and whatever other mediums that you may be witnessing this great occasion today. But it is a great day to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. It is a great day to be in the presence of the Almighty God. And we came to bless his name. We came to worship him today. We just came for God to have his way. Amen. Amen. And we do honor the Lord this morning. I do. Amen. As my Lord, my Savior, everything that I need him to be. Amen. And I am. I'm grateful and thankful. I'm going to ask you if you would stand all over the building as we go before the Lord uh, in prayer. Amen. And uh, go ahead and get Psalms 90, verse number 14. Psalms 90, verse number 14. Amen. Our God is an awesome God. This is not what I prepared to preach today, but it's what God changed it to. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I come before you this morning, God, thanking you and praising you for being God all by yourself. God, I just adore you, oh, Father, and I thank you for saving me, oh, God, and sanctifying me. God, now I ask you right now where I am that you will anoint me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, oh, God. Not my will, but thy will be done. Not my words, God, but your words, oh, God. Father, God, I ask you to hide me behind your cross. Let not your people see me, but let them hear you today, oh, God. Holy Ghost, speak to us, oh, God. Holy Ghost, have your way, oh, God. Holy Ghost, deliver us, oh God. Holy Ghost, do whatever we need you to do, oh God. Uh, God, we came in one way, but we want to leave more like you, oh go closer to you, God. Uh, oh God, and we just say, do it through your word. Uh, oh God, pull us, oh God. Pull today with the word of God. Uh, save, set free, and deliver, oh God. Uh, in this house, oh God. Uh, oh God, by way of Facebook, oh God, and oh God, television, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and God, we give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory, God. Uh, I thank you, oh God, for that which you have already done. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Come on and bless the Lord real good. Amen. He is an awesome God. I am reading from the easy uh, version this morning, and I am reading Psalms 90 and verse number 14. After I switch these glasses out.
and it reads, show your special love to us every morning. Then we will sing with joy and we will be happy for as long as we live. Show your special love to us every morning. Then we will sing with joy and we will be happy for as long as we live. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and most of all the doers of his word. And you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Uh, I am going to ask you to go ahead and turn to the book of Romans. Chapter 8. And we're going to read 35 through 37. And it reads, Christ will always continue to love us. Nothing can stop that. We may have troubles. Things may make us sad or afraid. People may do bad things to us. We may have no food or no clothes. There may be great danger. People may even try to kill us, but none of these things can stop Christ from loving us. As it says in the Bible, because we are your people, God, people try to kill us all the time. They think that we are like sheep and we are ready to be killed. Verse number 37, because God loves us, none of these troubles can ever beat us. He makes us win against them. Amen. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 5. We pray that the Lord will lead you in your thoughts. Then you will understand God's love better and better. You will be patient and strong as Christ is. Amen. Uh, Isaiah 43. Verse number four, you are valuable to me. You are my special people and I love you. So I will give other people to their, I will give other people to their enemies to keep your lives safe. Other nations will pay the price instead of you. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and most of all the doers of his word. Amen. As uh, you probably suppose, you've heard it quite a bit in the scripture text there that we're going to talk about love amen i thought i was going to talk about he won't put no more on you than you can bear but nevertheless the lord said not today amen we're talking about the power of love the power of love amen there is power in love and when we look throughout the bible we can see that uh, there are many instances where we see the love of God. We see the power of God. And I'm going to talk about, you know, one in particular, but many that we're going to talk about. But on yesterday, uh, we were getting ready to go, and uh, Q3 and Jalen was in the man cave playing. And uh, Q3 said, uh, I love you, TT. And I said, I love you more. And Jalen said, more than me? And I'm like, how you know? I said, no, it's not more than you because I love both of y'all more. Amen. And you know what? When we think about the love of God, because that is my uh, response. When you tell me you love me, I always answer, I love you more. And so uh, I love you more than you love me. That's what I'm doing. God said, I loved you all more than you loved me at the beginning. Amen. And see, we didn't know love, or we come to know love, or we come to know and understand God's love through his son, Jesus Christ. He used his son to show us how much he loved us. 
Amen? He sent his son to come into this world to die for us, to bear. He became sin. That's what he did. He became sin. You know what? There wasn't anything wrong with him. There was no marks or anything against him. But you know what? He took on our sins, and he came into these, this world to bear our sins that when we got, uh, as he told Peter, you know, I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail thee not. Amen. In other words, when you get it together, now you can come back and you can pray for your brethren. But first, you know what? I want you to get it together. Uh, we can see God's love. You remember the woman caught in adultery. Uh, they bought her, amen, to be to, 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 the, to, the, uh, to the men to tell them we have caught her in the very act. And what did God do? He showed forth her love. Love and compassion. Amen? The power of love. You know what? Many of us, we think we know love, and I don't know about you. I, I, you know what? I grew up in a household that talked about love all the time, and it was demonstrated through the things that we did for other people. It was demonstrated, you know, we were brought up to uh, uh, share the things that we had. We didn't have a lot, but whatever we had, we would share it. Uh, when we were growing up, if my, my parents, they would raise a cow, and they would raise a pig. You had pork and you had beef, amen? But whenever they would send it to the slaughter, amen, it would be so much meat and stuff, and so we would share it with our neighbors. You know, the family got their cut, and, you know, daddy would call different ones over, and they would come in and pick and choose. You know, they could get, you know, uh, uh, meat. The butcher had already dressed it and wrapped it, and everybody could get it. Whenever we went to the fields, and they picked the peas and the greens, and the peach pulled the peaches from the trees and different things, and we uh, would, uh, I'm thinking like this, I'm like, if we got to share all these peas, and we gonna give them away. We need to go knock on their doors and tell them to come on over here and share some of these peas too. Sit on this porch with us because at the end of the day when you get done your, your, your fingers are all purple amen because you got purple hull peas you know and you shelling them and I'm thinking we're going to bless the neighborhood. Why can't the neighborhood come bless us and help us shell them? But that was not their way amen. Their way was that we were taught to do it and we had to do it and you know we would go and deliver. They didn't have a whole lot and what I come to tell you is this the power of God's love. Uh, God gets in the midst of it, and whatever you got that you can share, God will bless you. Remember that woman, he said, if you make me a cake first, show me some signs of your, he said, if you do it for me first, that every time you go back to the cruise, what you need is going to be right there. How many of you gone to the bank, you shared something, but you didn't think nothing was going to be there, but every time you needed it, it was right there. God didn't let you go without. God didn't let you know what I remember many of days uh, uh, we would be a blessing or bless other people and let me tell you something there was a time that was really really hard for us uh, and uh, 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 I remember God would just cause different ones to PCS in our building and it was funny because they were PCS right after they bought groceries and so when it was time for them to go, they would come over and bring the groceries to our house. And you know what? I would just tell the Lord, thank you, because God will make a way out of no way. Amen. God will demonstrate how much he cares about you and how much he loves you and how important you are to him. And you know what, people of God? We got to open up and be able to receive uh, the things of God. Uh, there is power in God's love. Uh, many a times we have what we call this, this love that we've learned through the world. I love you if you love me. I'll love you if you do right by me. I'll love you if you take care of me. But that's not the kind of love God is talking about. God said, I want to love you when you're messed up. I want to love you when you can't figure it out. I want to love you when you want to give up. I want to love you when you're at the bottom of the barrel. I want to love you when everybody else have walked out of your life. I want to love you. I want to show you how much I love you. They left you, but I will never leave you, saith the Lord. Somebody said, that's love. That's the power of that love. You know what he told your Sadducees and the Pharisees? He said, if you only love the people that love you, what good is it? What good is it? What good is it? What good is it? So what is God's love? Amen? 
God's love we see by the word, amen? Uh, the, John says it like this, in the beginning was the word, the word was God, and the word was with God, and the same was in the beginning, amen? And we saw that, and you drop down to verse number 14, it says that we beheld it as flesh, and talking about Jesus Christ, there is love. When he came into this world, amen, he walked and he did. He said, I'm going to show you that this can be done without sin. I want to show you that you can love your enemies. I want to show you that you can love those that are difficult to love. I want to show you that you can love people that hate you. And see, sometimes we're trying to find love in this world, and he said they despise me, so they're going to despise you. Why are we upset when we don't get what we think we ought to get back from this world? Somebody said the power of love. But see, when you are, are you've accepted the love of God, what your enemy do or what whomever does don't change what you do. It doesn't change your love just because you don't speak to me don't mean I don't speak to you. Just because, amen, you don't love me doesn't mean that I don't love you. And you know what? We have to, I, let me, let me, I'm just going, you know, when I started this journey, I can't tell you that I loved everybody. I, I just can't tell you that. I had a few enemies that I just didn't like, if the truth be told. And I didn't want to like them. You ever had people that you didn't like and you didn't want to like them? I had some. I didn't like them and I didn't want to like them. But you know what? It, it, it's amazing because the very people that you don't want to like is the one God wants you to like. But, but let, let, let's, let's just take a minute and digress for a second here. What is, point number one, what is God's love? God's love is that kind of love Amen, that doesn't get messed up about what you want. He has a way of when you say you love him and, 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 and when you tend to fall in love with God. So I'm questioning your love today. Is that all right? We gonna, well, I don't want to say I'm questioning it, but I want you to question it. I want you to question your love today because you want to have the right kind of love. And first of all, for you to have that right kind of love, you got to have God's love. See, some things, you know, you have to start learning how to do it by faith. The Bible says if faith is not mixed with love, it don't profit you nothing. We got to have that right kind of love. That love that will not uh, allow us to stop because somebody did us wrong. That kind of love that, because when I think about it, I think about it, I think about it, I think about it. I've done God wrong plenty of times. If we're just telling the truth, can we handle the truth today? I've done God wrong a plenty of times. Uh, uh, there were times that I didn't, back, I didn't consider myself a backslider, but I sure wasn't walking in the epitome of the word. Because there were some things I just didn't want to do. And sometimes you don't want to forgive people, but when you think about how much God has forgiven you, <laughs> why can't you forgive me? We, we want so much, you know, from God, and, you know, we want so much from people sometimes. You know, what? when I think about that, you know, I wasn't always faithful to God, but God has always been faithful to me. And if God has been faithful to me, when I fell in love with him, it made me want to change my ideology about how things were done. Because I'm not, I'm not going to stop speaking to you because you stopped speaking to me. I'm not going to stop loving you because you stopped loving me. I'm not going to stop doing right by you because you no longer do right by me. Because I'm not looking to you. I'm looking to the hills from which cometh my help and my help cometh from the Lord. And it's God that enables me to be able to do the things that I do. 
It is God that enables us, amen, to keep on moving in this journey, irregardless to how people feel about you. Because you know what? I understand you just don't understand. And people don't like you to call them, you know, uh, ignorant. But I'd rather for you to be ignorant just to be stupid. Stupidity is you know what's right, but you're just not going to do what's right. That's stupidity. Ignorance is I don't have a clue. I'd rather be ignorant to things and not have a clue than just be stupid. Although I have operated in stupidity. So y'all might not tell the truth about you, but I'll tell the truth about me. I have operated not too long ago. <laughs> I wanted to be a stupid person so I could just say what I wanted to say, do what I wanted to do, and act how I wanted to act. But the grace of God would not allow me to do that. See, the grace of God won't let you forget whose you are. Sometimes as people, we forget whose we are. We belong to the Most High God. We belong to the God that came, amen, and sent his son in this world to die for us, to buy back our pardon that we freely gave up. We, we, we serve a God that, you know what, love us. His mercy is renewed every day. We serve a God that want us, amen, to, to, to stick with him because he's stuck with us. He want us to freely open up and give our hearts open to him and do what he wants us to do as opposed to doing what we want to do. Every now and then we have stupid moments. I'm not calling you stupid. I just said you had a moment. Huh? Because we just want to do what we want to do. Just want to say, just want to behave, just want to act. But you know what? I woke up this morning and after the Lord dropped this in my spirit, I had a renewed, I'm like, God, I don't ever want to do me. I want to always do you. I don't ever want to project Josephine. I always want the people of God to see you. And, and you know what? The thing that came back to my mind was when Peter went out. You know, he was uh, 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 going about his business. He wasn't going to follow the Lord anymore. And the girl, he went to talking. He, she said, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute. You're one of his disciples. I, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. They be telling y'all, y'all one of them church people. Hey, Amen. You know you came out. You know you used to go to church. You know you came. Why are you out here? Oh, no, I see it all over you. You trying to do the running, man, and it begins to be a shout. Huh? Because you're associated, you are connected to. It's hard to break those, that shackle, amen. And, and if the truth be told, I don't want the shackle broken, amen, because I want him to pull me back. I want him to draw me back. I want to be back where God will have me to be. Somebody said, love, I need his love. The power of love. The power of God's love. That love. The word comes in, and the more we get to know him, the more we understand him. The more the Holy Spirit deals with us, amen, the more we are drawn closer to him, and the more, amen, the scales falls from our eyes, and we can understand the word of God, and we get a, vib a, vib a visible understanding of what the cross is and what the cross meant and what Jesus Christ, Christ did on the cross and how much he loved us because the word said, for God so loved the world that he gave his own only begotten son and you know what when you fall in love with God how do I let him know how much I love him I let him know how much I love him through my worship I, I sing the song that says I love you Jesus I sing the song that says father father I sing the song that says Jehovah Jireh I begin to talk to him about what he means to me 
It's through my worship. It's through my devotion, amen, towards him. It's through me letting him know when I get down on my knees and tell him how much I love him and how much I appreciate him and how much I'm thankful uh, uh, for what he has done for me because I understand his love. Amen. You know what? It might not cost me anything, but it cost Jesus Christ his life. And our father loved us enough that Jesus went and died for us. He made that ultimate sacrifice sacrifice love 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 had the ex experience of talking to someone the other day and they said you know what while my wife was giving birth to our child she and the child died that's hard but God's love is still good it's his love that I need. You know what? Because the Bible refers that love covers a multitude of sin, you all. It's that love of God that, that covers us. It's the love of God, amen, that, 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 you know, makes our sins white as snow. Though they be red as crimson, they'll become what? White as snow. It's that love that caused life-changing things to happen in our lives. Go back for a moment before you knew Christ and when you came to Christ and the difference that Christ made in your life. You might not be where you want to be, but you're sure not where you used to be. When you think about, amen, the experience that you have had uh, with the Lord, a lot of people didn't make it as far as you have made it. But look at God. Thanks be unto your God who has always caused you to triumph, amen, in Christ Jesus. A lot of people didn't get to experience and do the things that you have done. But you know what? When you think about the grace of God, God, you could have took me out, amen. In some instances, you should have took me out. But God, you allowed me to remain here, and you have still been faithful to me somebody say love love that's the kind of love that our father have for us he loved us so much that he didn't withhold anything from us and you know what we have to learn to love like that that we won't hold anything back he told the world you'll know my children they're different from the world's children it's the love they have one for another. How do we show that love that we have one for no another? Somebody said, well, I, I, I want to love, but I, I don't know how to love. So let's look at the word of God and see, you know, what, what he's talking about and how we got to learn uh, to love. I got to learn, point number two, say you got to learn to love you. Love you. Love your neighbor as thyself. And I've, I've been pondering, and, you know, uh, Jr. and I, we was watching a show yesterday, and I was asking him, I said, I, have you seen something like this? And he looked at me and put that little smile on his face, and he began to say, yeah, T.T., I have. Somebody had walked into or were in a home, and they shot and killed the, the mother Ch the child and another person had died on the way to the hospital when the police got there these people were already uh dead but the scene in the house was horrific can you imagine having to take take on all of that see we don't have love right in this world we've been taught to hate more than we have to love Hatred has been de demonstrated more than love has been demonstrated. We don't, have to, we don't have to hate one another based on the color of our skin or based on where you live and your socioeconomic status. It doesn't matter because guess what? When it's time to go to heaven, none of that is going with you. All of that stuff that you have attained in this world is going to be left behind. And you know what? Sometimes we're doing things to impress a world that don't even care about you. We want the world to have something good to say about us. And you know what? I would begin to think about this, and I always think about this. When Dr. Martin Luther King, he said, if he died, he said, don't mention the degrees that I have. Don't mention. 
but he wanted his work to speak for him. How many of you want your work to speak for you? That love, you want to tell somebody, I love people. It didn't matter. It didn't matter who they were. It didn't matter what they were like. It didn't matter, you know, where, uh, what their status was or where they lived, or the kind of car they drove or the kind of house they lived in. It didn't matter about any of those things. I loved them because they were a creation of God. And God loved me when I was in my mess and I need to be able to love somebody else through. Somebody said a process. Amen. The one thing when we're going through our processes, amen, we just need somebody there that can love us through the process. Love me through the mess I'm going through. Love me through, amen, the way I feel. Love me through the stuff that may come out of my mouth. Amen. Love me through my process. Uh, let me see the visible love of God through you so I can get to know him. See, the world only going to see God through us. Uh, how you act, how you respond, what it is that you and I do is how they're going to know God. how they are going to know him. And we want to uh, uh, emulate his love. We want that to be, uh, uh, you know, sec not second nature. We just want it to be, it just come. Because it's who we are. The song said that's who he is. So if that's who he is, then that's who we ought to be. Is that love. A walking love machine. Amen? Loving. Learn to love yourself. Matthew uh, 22. Let's go there. Verse number, um, let's go to 37. And we'll read through 39. And Jesus replied to him, you should, you should love the Lord your God completely. Love him with all your mind. Do you love God with all your mind? Love him with all that you are. Love him in all that you think. This is the greatest rule and the most important of all of God's laws. The second rule is also important like the first. You should love one another as much as you love yourself. And I began to ask God, I said, well, maybe what people think love is, is not because if you treat me the way you think love is, and it is not, then it means that you don't know how to love you. Slap yourself. Slap, just slap yourself. No, don't tap yourself. Slap yourself. But we, we're not going to do that, are we? We won't do that. Get the gun. Get the gun. Shoot you. Shoot you. We won't do that. And, you know, it... I, I, I don't know, maybe I'm understanding a little more as the older I get, because it just blows my mind how people can take other people's lives and not think about it. I know the word said that it would happen because life is like a what? A vapor. We don't, we don't, I, I, I don't think much of my life, so I don't think much of your life. I don't think much of, of, of me, so I don't think much of you. I've ran across people that said, I didn't, I didn't believe I live, I'd, I'd see 30. Can you imagine that? That tells me they did not have some expectation. They didn't put a value on their life. They didn't, they didn't see themselves as valuable. Now, whether the Lord says the same or not, amen, either way it go, I'm going to glory. But you know what? I plan to live alone. I told them yesterday, listen here, I don't care how old I get, I'm going to be in my heels. And I'm going to walk in them well because I got Caleb's spirit. That's what, you know, that's, 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 my, that's my take on it. That's my take on it. That's, that's me. But I value me and I value you. 
I don't take anything for granted concerning you. Because I don't take anything for granted. I may have before, but I've learned better. Amen? I've got some wisdom behind it. I don't take anything for granted anymore because I know things could change like that. I know, amen, and I don't want anybody to leave and not know how much I love them and how much I care about them and how much I appreciate them. Amen? Because God is not going to let me leave this earth because he shows me every day how much he loves me, how much he appreciates me. So therefore, I want you to know how much I love you and how much I appreciate it. And I don't just want to say it, but I I want to demonstrate it. God lets us wake up every morning. I looked at the clock this morning, five, well, 455. I said, thank you, Jesus. But I'm going to just lay here 10 more minutes if it's all right with you. Huh? But I want to thank him for my eyes opening, not taking it for granted anymore. And I don't take yours for granted anymore because you have a place in my life. And if that light goes out, it affects us. It affects us. And you know what? I don't care how mad we get sometimes. You know what? Uh, uh, the Bible said that it, be angry, but do what? Don't you sin. I can tell you, you made me mad. It's better when I tell you, isn't it? You made me mad, but you know what? I still love you, but I'm still mad. But I'm working on getting delivered from being mad. And you and I have a dialogue, and before it's over with, I done got over being mad, amen, and we back to where we need to be. And you know what, people of God, that's how we have to be. Amen. If I make you mad, don't go six weeks without telling me you mad at me and you allow the enemy to use that doorway to come in and fester junk in your heart. Amen. We sit up and we allow too much stuff to come in instead of talking to one another and working through our process and getting stuff together that we might be right in the sight of God. The right kind of love. There is power in love. Did y'all know there was healing in love? There's deliverance in love. Yes. Jesus said, leave your gift at the altar. Go to your brother. Get it right. Don't tell the world you love me if you don't love the person that's sitting next to you. If you don't love the person across the hall from you. You don't love the person across the aisle. Don't tell me you love me because you have never seen me. And maybe they don't know love, but you'll get to know it if you see it in me. Maybe, maybe they're doing the best that they know how to love. Amen. Because what? You know what? It may not have been demonstrated in their homes. Some of us had all kinds of love demonstrated in our home. Amen. It might not have all been the agape love. I told you, my parents, they would, you know, we, we shared with the neighborhood. We shared with people. When, when, when folks came in our house, we got up out of our beds and went to the floor. And if the older people would get in our beds or whatever, my parents opened up. We were in... We were taught that. But sometimes that love between a husband and a wife, that was kind of flaky sometimes. It wasn't the way the Bible said it should have been, but they were not living for Christ at the time. So it was the best of what they knew how to do. They was giving us what they had seen. And sometimes we don't, until we come to Christ, we don't get the right stuff. We don't see the right thing. We do it the best we know how of what has been shown to us. That's how we do it. And then we have to learn, amen, to do it a little bit better because God is requiring some more from us. He said, with your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole being, everything you got, give. Give. Give it to him. Do it. The power of love. Love saves. Love delivers. Love binds. I think around our 16th year of marriage, we would get up and pray in the morning, and the first morning I heard Pastor T, he was like, Lord, bind us together more in love. I got mad in the prayer. 
Because in my mind, let me tell you how I took it. And see, we need to check how we take, take things. When he said, Lord, bind us together more in love, I took it, oh, something wrong. He don't love me. But that's not what he said. We get mad with people over junk that we really didn't hear because there's stuff on the inside of us that make it seem like they said something else, and that's not what they even meant. We, 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 we have that problem. And so I internal, internalized that he was saying he ain't love me, and we got a problem here. Houston, we have a problem. And so I didn't say anything to him. I'm acting funny. You know how we do. We get mad, you go to acting funny. Husbands, y'all know how to do. You get mad, the first place you know it is when you get in that bed because she turned her back. She normally lay on you, beside you, up under you, or let you do the opposite. But when she mad, move over, don't touch me. And she act like she sleep. You call her name, she can't hear you. She in a deep coma. But that's not how love operates. And so he asked me, he said, Joe, what's the problem? And when I told him what the problem, he said, that's not what I, I said. I just want the Lord to give us more. Thank God for the more. Thank God for the more. I want him to do it better. I want him to do it thicker. I want him to do it harder. I want him to give it where, you know, harder is everything. See, a threefold cord is not easily broken. It's not easily broken. And sometimes everybody don't come into the mix with a threefold cord. They come in with a two. They come in with a one. I'm just going to see how long this is going to last. I'm just going to see how this is going to be. If it ain't what I want, I'm out. But when you have that mindset, it won't work right. If you, you got a mindset you're always looking for the way out, it's not going to work. And one person can't do it by themselves. It takes two. This power of love, this power uh, of, of love that God sent to us, that he gave to us, that he wants us to learn how to emulate and become and be and allow people. You know what he said? Let your light so shine. Y'all been trying to figure out what the light is. What is it? It's the love of God. That's the light that needs to shine. Love draws. Let your light so shine before men. Well, how are they going to see it? They're going to see by what I demonstrate toward them. That they may do what? See your good works. And then they're going to do what? Glorify your Father which is in heaven. They got to see it in us, you all. We got to be it. We got to become it. And some of us are working on our love. And some of you are working on it, but you don't want it to be repaired too fast. Because, you know, I want to be like this for a little while. And if I let the old stuff go, amen, I don't know what this new stuff, you know, because we worried about people walking over us. We worried about people talking crazy to us. We worried about people mistreating us. Well, didn't you walk over Jesus? Didn't you talk crazy to him? Didn't you do some of the stuff that you worried about people doing to you? Tell the truth, shame the devil. Huh? But if God is your avenger, why are you worried about it in the first place? We always trying to prove to people we ain't no punk. I ain't no punk. I ain't no whatever. I ain't no coward. I ain't scared. Why we always got to tell people we're not scared? If I got to prove to you that I'm not scared, I'm probably scared. If I got to prove it. Because when, you, when you're not and you're confident in who you are, you just be and become. You just do. Because you're confident in that. You know who you are. You're not worried about them. You know what? Because I understand this. If you take my life, if you take my life, amen, it was my time to go anyway. And guess what? I already know where my end is. I am at the beginning again. It's not the end for me. It's the beginning. I'm really about to live. That's why we shouldn't have any fear. You know, we, now I understand that I'm not ready to die either. 
We're not, we're not ready. But if the Lord say the same, we want to be ready when he calls. That love, the power of love, God's love. We want to showcase and show forth the love of God. Loving others the way I love me. Learn to love you better. Not that I'm going to do me stuff. I, girl, I'm going to do me. What is doing you? When we say we're going to do us, it's usually <laughs> we ain't going to do God. When I tell you I'm going to do me, baby, watch out. Because it's not doing God. It's all about me. Well, let me set the church record straight today. It's not about you. Amen? It's about the Christ that lives on the inside of you. It's not, I, I, girl, I, you know, I ain't, you know, I, I ain't finna do all that no more. I'm finna change how I do things. I'm finna change how I see things. Don't do too many changes. You might be like that woman that the Lord didn't recognize. He said, she told him, Lord, you told me it wasn't my time. He said, girl, you got so many surgeries, I didn't even recognize you. <laughs> don't make too many changes. If that change isn't in the word, don't make the change. Amen? All changes that we want to make want to be looked toward God. Amen? Learn to love your, to love God. Loving others as yourself. Loving like God loved. God loved us in spite of who we, you know, the things that we did, the stuff that we said, how we looked. I know I was a mess coming to God. According to Philippians 2, amen, we want to do better. We want to be better. We want to show better. Learn to love you. If you love you, you can love others. Because I'll love you the way God loves me. That's what I'm trying to get at. Love others the way God loves you. He put it in, you're giving it out. I want to love you the way God loves me. Amen? Point number three, follow his example. Let's go to Psalm 63. Did I read Matthew 22? I think I did. Um, let's go to uh, uh, Psalm 63. We're going to look at verse number three. And it reads, your special love for me is better than life itself, so I will speak out to praise you. So the thing that we have to do is follow God's example. Uh, the things that we want to do is allow people to see God's love on the inside of us. We want people to see that, you know what, the things that I'm doing, I wouldn't know to do this. I couldn't do this within myself because my flesh would get tired. I couldn't do this in myself because my flesh would want to give up. But it's through the power of God, amen, that I'm able to love you according to the word of God. It's through the power of God that I'm able to, to do and show forth this love in spite of how you treat me. Because you can get some people that's really nasty to you. You can get some people that are really ugly to you. You can get some people that say some crazy stuff to you. But you know what? You still want to showcase the love of God. Let me tell you, you can get mad at them, cuss them out, and have no effect on them because that's what they was expecting from you. But I'm going to tell you, you'll do most stuff to a person when you hold your tongue and you tell them, God bless you. I love you, my sister, my brother. You'll mess them up with that, amen, because they was expecting you to come back with your flesh. Well, I'm telling you today that this love that we have is not a flesh kind of love. It is a spiritual kind of love. It is that love of God, the love that we learn from God, the love that we experience with God. It is the love that God gives to us, amen, that we're able to love ourselves and be able to love others. I'm not waiting on you to do right by me before I do right by you because God has already done right by me. I'm not looking for anything from you, amen, because I'm looking to God, amen, who is my provider. I'm looking to God who is my way maker. I'm looking to God who will bring me out, amen, of the dark places. I'm not looking to you to come in, amen, and do something for me. See, we're afraid to love people because we think, amen, they want us to do something. Huh? But you know what? When we have the mind of God, huh, I'm always looking for what I can do. Huh? I'm always looking for how I can serve. Huh? When you have the love of God on the inside, huh, you want somebody to see God, huh? amen, that he'll make a difference huh, in their lives. Somebody said, follow his example. Let's look at John 13. We almost done. 
John 13, that's St. John. Verses 34 through 35. And it reads, I give a new rule to you. Love each other. You must love each other as I have loved you. In this way, everyone will know that you are my disciples. They will know it if you really love each other. Simon Peter asked, Lord, where will you go? Jesus replied, you cannot follow me. Follow now where I will go. But sometime after this, you will follow. Peter said, Lord, why can I not go with you now? Uh, I would even die for you. Amen. We know this is Peter setting himself up here and Jesus answered you should say you should say that you would die for me but I tell you this soon even say that you do not know me before the cockerel sings early morning uh, sings tomorrow early morning you will say that three times and so we are supposed to follow the example of Christ amen and do it the way he says do it not the way that we want to do it listen our world is changing but God is not changing. God's love does not change. This world is changing. This world is coming to a close, but God is not coming to a close. Amen. And there may be times, amen, that things come up and you might be a Peter and you may hear the voice of the Lord because you didn't uh, answer correctly because you didn't do it. And that crow uh, crowed and Peter realized amen that the very thing that the Lord had told him had come to pass but when you go back and look at it pe Peter still had an opportunity amen to get it right and to make it right with God what I'm coming to tell you this morning if we operate in the power of love we can make a difference in this world and too many times with the children of God because we get weary in well doing we want to act more like the world and instead of acting like God amen because we don't have the power that we need, amen, uh, amen, to wait on God to make the change. Uh, and sometimes we want to deliver the method ourselves, uh, amen, we want to deliver the blow ourselves, uh, we want to deliver the punishment ourselves, uh, but I come to let you know this morning that love is patient uh, and love is kind. Uh, love is the kind that will wait on God to do what he said he would do. Uh, love is the kind that will stand in, amen, when nobody else will stand in. Uh, love is the kind that will stand up when nobody else will stand up. Uh, Love is the kind that will wait on you, amen, and hold your hand huh, and let you know that everything is going to be all right. Huh. Sometimes the people that you thought would be there will not be the people that are there. Huh. It's that enemy that you didn't think love you huh, that you'll end up counting on. Huh. It'll be the one person that you thought huh, would never show up for you, huh, and God will have them to show up. Huh. Everybody that told you they were your friend huh, and they had your back, huh. but when the trouble came, huh, you couldn't find them anywhere. Where, huh? Amen. They didn't show up for you. Huh? But I come to report to you this morning uh, that we got a God that will show up huh, when you need him the most. Huh? We got a God that will show up huh, when you're weary. Huh? We got a God that will show up huh, when you're lonely. Huh? We got a God that will show up huh, when you're ready to give up. Huh? We got a God that will show up huh, when you say, I can't do it no more. Huh? We got a God that will show up huh, when you say, God, I don't know why. Huh? Why did you let it be like this? Why did you let it come to this? How did it happen this way? God said, you may not understand it, but you gotta trust me. When I can't trace him, I just have to trust him. I trust in the Lord. I lean not to, to my own understanding, but in all my ways, I begin to acknowledge God. I'm not gonna allow anything to get in the way of my loving and loving God and loving you. I'm I'm going to love hell huh, out of my enemies. Huh. I'm going to let them see huh, the right way to go. Huh. I'm going to let them see huh, the light of Jesus Christ. Huh. I'm going to let them see huh, the power of God. Huh. Somebody tell God, show up. Huh. Show up in me, God. I want to do it your way, huh. not my way, God. Huh. I want to wrap my arms huh, around my enemies. Huh. I want to be there, God, huh, when somebody need me the most. Huh. They didn't think I would, huh, but here I am. 
am father. I am the one. Huh? Listen here. Huh? Did we think it was Jesus huh? that was going to come? Huh? Certainly the devil didn't think it. Huh? He began to say, you know what? Huh? If I take him out, huh? if I kill him, huh? amen, he won't bring pardon huh? to the people of God. Huh? But somebody say, oh, the plan of Jesus. Huh? Oh, the plan of Jesus. God plan uh, is not your plan. Uh, his ways uh, are not your ways. Uh, his thoughts uh, are higher than yours. God will do uh, what the unimaginable. God will do uh, what nobody suspected. Uh, and he slipped Jesus in right under the law. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, how this thing goes. Uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm asking something uh, of the people uh, of the four. They can give it to me. I got to send my son. Somebody says, show me Jesus. Show me the way. He'll show up. Yes, he did. He showed up in the midst of all our role. In the midst of my sin. In the midst of your sin. So call on me. I'll save you. I'll deliver you. Many of the affliction of the righteous. But God will uh, deliver them out of them all. How do we get delivered? Through the love of God. How do I get delivered? Through the love of God. How did you get delivered? Through the love of God. Somebody said, love. I need it. God's love. I want it. God will show up for you. The power of love. As Pastor T used to say, love is stronger than death. I witness that. Because every day, my love is renewed. My thoughts appear. I give God the glory and the honor. Somebody say, for time served, for the things he's done. Come on and praise our God. He got you. Even though you don't think he has. But you are in the arms of an almighty God. Give him praise and give him some glory. Somebody said love. Tina said, what does love have to do with it? I come to report to you everything. The world got it twisted. They thought you didn't need love. You discarded the wrong thing. Go back and get your love. You need the love, that love of God. Come on and give God a praise in this house. Come on and bless him real good. Tell him to show up for me, Lord. Show up. Show up in my love. I want God to show up in my love. Amen. I love you more. I love you more. Terrell and I, we have to get off the phone. I'd be like, he said, I love you, mama. I said, I love you more. He said, to the heavens in the back. I said, to the around the world, to the fifth heaven, the sixth heaven. He said, I love it. And you know what? I'd be we hitting that end button so we can have the last love. And that's how we ought to be, you all. Declaring our love one for another. The world will know our heavenly father by the love we have one for another. Amen. No greater love than this, than a man lay down his life for a friend. And that's what the Father did for us. He laid it down just for us. Amen? And we went from friend status to sonship. Amen? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Somebody loves me. For those of you that are listening by Facebook or YouTube and those of you that are in the house, if you've ever felt that you were not loved, let me tell you, God loves you. I know what that feels like as a kid. I was a messed up individual because I didn't think I was loved, always in search of. I never thought I was. And see, what happened, I had a particular place where I wanted to get it from. And when it wasn't coming from that place, I just thought I wasn't loved. But let me tell you something. The Lord showed me I had what I needed all the time. It was there. It wasn't them. It was me. Because love can come 
and you reject it. You reject it. You push it away and you push it back because you're looking for it in one direction. But God knows how to get you what you need. And you know what? He gave it to me and then reminded me you had it all the time. And some of you are looking for it. And God said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. I'm knocking, trying to get in to give it to you. But you won't even let me in. You won't answer the door. And he wants to give you that love. Open up today and allow God to come in and sup with you. Open up today and allow him to save you, to deliver you. Amen. Open up today and uh, embrace his love and loving you so you can love others. I don't worry about people using me. I don't care. That's what they think they're doing. But God is really using them. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because it gives me an opportunity to love you back. Because you, you, you know, you, you think you're taking, you're not really taking because I'm giving. The Father is here giving it to us. Receive of his love today as we're standing over the building. The greatest gift. When you go to 1 Corinthians 13, and it begins to talk about faith, hope, and love. And then it says the greatest of the three is love. Faith, you got to have love mixed with it. Hope, you got to have love to believe that he's going to do it. And he will. He'll show up every time. That's what I love about God. He showed up for me. He'll show up for you. He'll show up in the midst of your turmoil. See, there are some things that you can't even articulate to people about how you feel. But you know what? We got a God that says, I'm going to step in right there because I know how you feel. And you know what? When I get in that position, God steps in every time right there and just give me what I need. Yes. He'll speak a word. Yeah, he'll speak a word to you. He gave me a word the other day. I was like, oh, my God, I got so excited I didn't know what to do. Amen. And my joy was full once again. Sometimes you can sit on the sideline and you want to feel sorry for yourself, but there's no room for feeling sorry. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. It is our strength. Yeah. Yeah. So if you feel knocked down, get up. The Bible says a righteous man falls seven times, but he does what? He get up. Get up. Get back up. There's a song that I like that the men of valor does. And it says, I'm going to stay in your will. I made up my mind. I'm going to stay in your will. I'm going to stay under this umbrella of love. It doesn't get any better than God, you all. So if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, whatever, lift up those hands and say, Father, I want you to be my Savior. If you're in this room today and you need him, tell him, lift those hands up and say, God, I want you to be my Savior. Father, I want you to save me. Forgive me of my sins, God. Forgive me of the places that I fell short at, God. And step into my life. I surrender all to you. And forgive me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, for those that have accepted you as Lord and Savior, God, let them know that you have forgiven them. Let them know, oh God, that, oh God, though their sins were red as crimson, you have made it white as snow. That you are their father. 
Father God, let them know they can ask, they can receive God now, today, this moment, this hour. Let them receive your love today, God. For those of us that are in this sanctuary, let us receive again a fresh wind, a fresh fire, a fresh anointing of your love today, God. Oh, God, fall, God, on all of us, wherever we are, in the living room, in the bathroom, in the car, wherever it is that we might be, oh, God, fall down on us, God, a fresh wind, a fresh fire, oh, God, a fresh anointing right now, God. Oh, God, renew our minds, oh, God. We're casting down every imagination and every high thing that it tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity unto the obedience of Jesus Christ. Now, Lord, we just say, have your way. Have your way within us, oh God. Let us be a light to this dying world in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we thank you and we praise you. Amen and amen.